Today we want to share some setup tips to get the most out of your camera when using the Edge water housing. Today's tips will be talking about the Fujifilm X-H2 and also the X-H2S. These cameras share the same button control and menu setups. The first step is to ensure that you're familiar with the setup tips around controlling the shutter speed and aperture. Firstly, let's set up shutter speed control. The first step is to press menu, head down to the setup menu, head across to the button dial setting. From there, you wanna to go to the command dial setting, head down to M for manual, press okay. Navigate down to highlight the rear wheel and press OK. Then select SS for shutter and confirm by pressing OK. This will now allow you to control the shutter speed via the rear dial of the camera. You can now easily also swap between shutter speed and aperture by following those simple steps, but simply highlighting aperture instead of shutter speed. This will now allow you to change aperture via the rear dial. To easily control the camera's ISO settings when inside the water housing, we suggest customizing the AEL button. Press menu, head down to the setup menu, button dial setting. Look for the function FN setting menu, then scroll down to highlight the AEL button. Once you have that, locate the ISO option and press OK to confirm. You can now press the AEL button to bring up the ISO and change the value via the rear dial. You can control camera modes via the backplate controls on the water housing, but just remember, if you do go into video mode, the shutter button will start and stop recording. As the water housing's backplate will cover the camera's eye sensor, you can manually control where your shooting menu, shooting view, or even your playback images appear. The water housing offers a manual control to engage the small button on the side of the EVF, which controls your viewfinder mode. Cycle through your options via this control to nominate using either the EVF only or LCD only options. Lastly, to ensure you get the most out of your camera's battery life, we suggest following these steps to customize the camera's power saving options. To access, press menu, navigate down to setup, and then down to power management. Click on auto power off, and we suggest one minute. To confirm, press OK. We hope that these tips will allow you to get the most out of your camera when using the Edge water housing. If you have any questions regarding this product or any of the Aquatec products, please reach out to our trained staff via the website for the best support.